Hello guys, how are you? Today I'm here with the new craft and new design collection that it's called Men's Word. But the time that I was filming this one, I didn't have full collection. I just brought a few papers from Frankfurt and those are amazing amazing masculine rusty patterns and we will start with the paper transfer so first thing you need to do you have to prep your surface in my case it's just a board covered with the book pages and a little bit of gesso and then with Stamperia uh, gloss gel, I will transfer the pattern from the paper to my surface. Yeah, I could just stick the paper, but I just wanted to have a little bit more fun. So the, uh, there are two important things when you want to do the transfer this way. Uh, and you can transfer any image uh, like this, the one from uh, inkjet printer or from scrapbooking paper. Uh, you just need to have nice even layer of the product um, underneath your paper and you have to smooth it out and remember to not put any gel medium on top of your paper because then you will be not able to rub it off while this one is drying because it have to be completely dry before we'll start to transfer it i will prepare some elements all those little uh, clock faces and elements are cut out from one of the paper and i just wanted to play with different effects and see which one i like the most i like the most the one that i put my resin on but my resin was quite old <laughs> I have it in my stash for a really long time, but I made the, oh my god, sorry for the background noise, it was the cat. Uh, I made my goal for this year to use up the things that I have in my stash and to play a little bit more with the products. That's why we will do a lot of weird things like transferring the paper. Uh, this year on YouTube just to have more playtime just to you know test those products a little bit better and I really love this uh, gloss gel from uh, Stamperia this will be definitely like permanent stay in my stash the effect that I like the most it was just putting the cabochon over the uh, the clock face and pouring the resin like I said I have a lot of different bases, it just, those are just round metal shapes uh, that um, my elements would perfectly fit into. Uh, on, uh, on the small clock I put out some of the Mod Podge resin and here you can see me using two parts resin and you can say that it went bad because it's orangish, yellowish. Um, and I just mixed it really well and I poured it over the big clock face uh, in Finnabar uh, metal shape. So I lost part of the footage so here you can see how I did my transfer. When it's dry I just peel off all the paper that I can and all the rest you just have to rub off you make it really wet and then you just wrap just don't be too rough with it start gently and then move on to the um, uh, rougher removing of the surface uh, as you go because if you rub too hard then you will just peel off and rub off all the image you will see it later on um, that uh, to have a better edges, to have a better transition between the surface and the transfer, you can use the tool like I'm using here, a uh, kitchen sponge, because it have this rough side and it's just perfect to remove the paper without damaging my image too much. But if I want to see a little bit more of the background in some areas, um, I can just uh, go over the transfer uh, a few more times uh, to not only get rid of the um, paper leftovers, but also to remove my transfer partially. I really like this effect. It's a really nice distressed effect. But keep that in mind that if your 
image is very vivid then it might be a little bit blurry after removing the paper so you have to remove the paper completely and then it would be cool to seal it with something glossy to bring back the vibrance of paper and here you can see that if I will take my sponge right now and on the transfer that I'm already happy with I will rub it a little bit more roughly then I will remove uh, some of the image and I really really like how this background uh, turned I really really like the the rusty uh, element here uh, my transfer didn't happen in this moon side section around the middle of my uh, artwork so I decided that I will just put my composition over there so you will not see those blobs uh, and it was totally my fault I just didn't press hard enough my paper to the surface uh, when I was uh, rolling it with the brayer I didn't put an even pressure and the image just didn't get in contact with your medium so for today's project I decided to use uh, my family vintage photos actually it's not my my family it's my husband family it's his grandma and I love the pictures during the Christmas time I uh, scavengered <laughs> some of the vintage pictures I scanned them in and I just adore those pictures here you can see how my clouds looks like and i will create my own embellishment from two of them and um, i will just stick the small clock face uh, on top of this bigger one and it get a little bit cloudy and when i will put the glaze over it it will get even more cloudy on one hand i was unhappy that you cannot see the clock face very well on the second uh, hand, in the real life, it had a really cool vintage vibe to it. Uh, so with some of my elements, I arranged small composition. I really like how the final project looked like. I attached all the blue scraps of paper and all my paper and all the clocks and uh, all the paper elements are from the collection. It has so many cool images, uh, especially masculine ones, you know, like cars and stuff like that. Um, for the second, I was thinking about removing the small clock and exposing the face a little bit more or replacing it with something else. But then I felt like, no, it's cool. I like it. Let's leave it. I had a little bit of playtime with all the elements to arrange them uh, how I did want them. I really like how I combined this uh, little instant girl with those uh, quite masculine and statement papers. I love them. I love this collection and I show you a little bit more of it uh, quite soon including whole collection because now I have whole collection so I can walk you through. Um, so I decided to bring back this feminine side with adding a little bit of flowers but of course those are metal flowers to feed the whole theme of the project the whole grungy a little bit masculinish vibe uh, I use different metal embellishments we have some uh, mid foam castings here and some uh, gears uh, that I love and I collect and I have a lot of them and I have no idea which one is from where some of them are probably Tim Holtz or Finba and rest of them are just metal junk that I had in my stash I added the flowers and I'm totally obsessed with having an even uh, a number of elements so if you will count down all the elements uh, it's for sure an even number <laughs> everywhere if it's even I have to add at least one more or take one off because otherwise I will be just seriously disturbed the same with those metal elements we have one uh, clock hand we have uh, one arrow and one uh, key I was thinking about adding something else but then nothing seems to sit right when I was happy with my composition I let it dry because now it's time for some painting 
and lately I enjoy working on non-primed surfaces that means that all those papers are not primed at all so they will uh, take the color really easily I have to be quite careful because I cannot remove color once I will add it I cannot remove it completely you will see me taking a piece of cloth and just dabbing around some areas and I'm doing that just to soften the edges just to have this natural rusty look I use the brown uh, Academy ink uh, that have this rusty reddish brown uh, undertone and it just add this final oomph, final finishing touch to the project. I love how it flows on the wet surface. I will do also uh, a little bit of um, splatters. They will be not the perfect dots because my surface is uh, wet, so they will just look like the rusty sp splatters. I really, really like um, all the effects that I achieved on this artwork. Um, right now I'm basically shading with the part, uh, with the paint. That means that around all the elements I'm adding a little bit of brown shadow, a little bit of splatterings, only the sentiments are missing and we are ready to go. Okay, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this rusty video. And uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel, because I have some blog hubs and fun stuff coming up pretty soon. And uh, see you all pretty soon on the next one. Bye!